We're in the calculus one sequence and we're looking at computing area between curves. And we looked at three examples so far and these next two examples illustrate some other interesting complications. So here, we'd like to find the area between y equals x squared and x equals y squared. y equals x squared, of course, is the familiar parabola. x equals y squared is that parabola turned on its side. So x equals y squared looks like this. And the area that we're going to compute is this interesting area in here. And we need to find the coordinates of these two intersection points. Of course, this first intersection point just is the origin. So really, we need to focus on this point here. OK, so let's look at that intersection point. Now, x equals y squared could be rewritten as y equals plus or minus radical x. And the branch that we're looking at up here of this red curve is y equals positive radical x. And so in finding the intersection points, I want to have x squared match up with radical x. Now I need to solve for x. So I'm going to square both sides. I'll get x to the fourth equals x. In other words, radical x squared gives me x. So x to the fourth minus x equals 0. Factoring out an x, we have x times x cubed minus 1 equals 0. We get x equals 0 or x equals 1. x equals 0 gives us the origin, which we already knew. And then x equals 1 gives us the x coordinate of the second intersection point that we were looking for. So now we're ready to set up our integral, and it will be an integral from 0 to 1. The upper curve is the red curve, which is x equals y squared, which we rewrote as y equals plus or minus radical x. And we realized we're on the upper branch of the red curve, which is y equals positive radical x, since we're at positive y values. So the upper curve, again, is positive radical x. The lower curve is x squared. At this point, it's pretty straightforward to integrate. Antiderivative for x to the 1 half would be 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. Antiderivative for x squared would be x cubed over 3. And we're integrating from 0 to 1. We're going to get 2 thirds minus 1 third minus 0 minus 0. And so we're going to get 1 third out. And at the step where I anti-differentiated, again, I recommend quickly pausing and differentiating and making sure you get back to the integrand we had before. And you'll see that, yes, everything's working out well here. So a key thing to remember from this example is that sometimes you need to re-solve um, the equation you have for one of the functions you're working with to get it solved in terms of the appropriate variable. And you may need to look at what branch you're on and to do a little bit of tricky reasoning. But if you have the graph to look at, then you can figure out what's going on and you can figure out which curve is the upper curve and which curve is the lower curve.